How's it going everyone? This is Tricks from Meta Smash and we are back with yet another Skill Drills video. This video is going to be filled with tips and tricks of things that you should know if you're planning on picking up Joker, or if you already do play the character and you're just looking to sharpen your skills. I also want to mention that this tutorial is going to be focusing more so on movement and not so much on combos. And lastly, feel free to watch this video as many times as you need to and reference the controller cam in the corner if you are having difficulty figuring out these inputs. For the gun slide, you're going to want to do a short hop rising neutral special, then immediately hold forward on the control stick while continuing to hold special. This can be a great way to close the gap between you and your opponent and low profile projectiles at the same time, but be careful because you are not invulnerable during this animation. So you're going to want to use it seldomly as a mix up. Next, we have B reverse guns. The importance of this input is not so much about the damage that the guns provide, but rather the ability to shift your hurtbox. You're going to want to practice this in both directions because it has even more applications when it comes to doing it on platforms or just using it in space with a double jump. Once again, this isn't something that I would do all the time, but being aware of these options can make it extremely difficult for your opponent to get their hands on you. Next, we have double short hop guns, and the trick to this input is that you have to buffer a second neutral special during your first gunshot animation. If you simply just hold the B button, your second shot will not come out. This can be a great option to get your opponent to approach and also stuff out their approach at the exact same time, since the second shot does provide some hit stun at short range. You can also perform this with a turnaround animation, which can be great for retreating and still keeping on pressure. Speaking of turnaround guns, going off stage and doing a turnaround gun into aerial can be a great way to get stage spikes against characters that like to scrape the side of the stage when recovering. Drop zone turnaround guns off the ledge can also be a great way to snipe out jumps and then gimp your opponent so they have nothing but their up B to try and recover with. This one is a little bit more risky, but of course there are applications in which this is actually very useful. A much less risky option and probably Joker's best gimping tool is doing double guns down. For this, you're going to want to do a full hop neutral special, then quickly tap the B button a second time and immediately press down to get the first guns down. Once performed, release all of your button controls and then get ready to time your second jump and then perform the exact same input again. It's important to time your jump rather than hold jump immediately, otherwise you will not fall out of this animation and you can fall to your death. Also, when I mentioned to let go of all of your button controls, this means that you can actually still use the control stick to drift around freely in the air. And of course, the next variation of this would be full hop RAR guns down into back air, which is easily one of his absolute best setups when it comes to edge guarding. And there's also a simplified variation of that where you just jump off forwards and go for fair instead of back air. Both of them do have their unique applications, so don't overlook one over the other simply because one is easier to do. You should most definitely learn how to do both. Next, we have the MK Leo bread and butter. Fair one, up air drag down into up smash or down smash. Every Joker player should know what this is and know how to do it. For this drill, I suggest practicing this so that you can land it at least 10 times in a row. And once you feel comfortable with it, then try and do it against a moving opponent as a bait and punish tactic. So here, you're trying to land this on laggy moves only. Do not throw it out mindlessly because of course you will get punished. You'll also notice that I have Roy set to fix damage so that I can do this drill over and over without him dying. It just saves time and allows you to do more reps. And lastly, we have a reaction drill that revolves solely around tech chasing. You're going to want to have stale moves off, set your opponent to 10% and have fixed damage on. And the point of this drill is of course to react to air dodges, double jumps and unsafe landings and punishing them with grabs. You're also going to want to practice this against Fox because of course he is very fast but also has the fastest fall speed so he will actually have to tech more often than not. And of course he doesn't actually always have to tech but within my findings I found that floaty characters would always jump. So practicing this drill against a fast falling character is much more effective. If you know your opponent likes to air dodge because they are afraid of Joker's down throw fair then this is an incredibly good skill to have. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I did want to mention that I am offering private lessons once again. If you are someone who is interested in getting a coaching session, be sure to contact me on Discord. And once again, this is Tricks from Meta Smash saying thanks for watching the video and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this.